body of Riley Strain found in Cumberland River. The two-week search for missing University of Missouri student Riley Strain is over after authorities pulled the 22-year-old's body from the Cumberland River on Friday morning. Strain's body, found eight miles downriver from where he was last seen, still had on the black and white shirt he was wearing when he went missing on March 8 after getting kicked out of Luke's 32 Bridge in downtown Nashville, according to Metro Nashville Police Department Chief John Drake. Authorities do not suspect foul play in his disappearance nor his death, Drake said just hours after the 22-year-old was found dead. Strain's body was first reported to authorities by barge operators doing routine checks near the river in the nation's area around 7.30 a.m., Drake said. First responders used a boat ramp at the North Nashville Exxon facility to enter the water and retrieve the body from downriver. They noticed what appeared to be Riley Strain pop up, Drake said, adding the Nashville Fire Department used boats to remove the body from the river. The medical examiner's office reviewed the body and we've confirmed that it is Riley Strain. Strain's body was found after two weeks of extensive search by air, boat, and on foot that included the Metro Nashville Police Department, Nashville Fire Department, Nashville's Office of Emergency Management, Cheatham County Sheriff's Office, Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency, United Cajun Navy, and countless volunteers. Officials had asked anyone on or near the river to keep an eye out for any sign of strain. Search crews used sonar, dogs, and other resources to look for the college student. We have reports that normally under these circumstances with his height and weight, that he could have surfaced in 14 to 20 days, Drake said. This is the 14th day, so we were really expecting any time soon to find him. In fact, our search teams were going to put in the water here and search from this point further down. We were in the right spot. It's just unfortunate. There is nothing to suggest any foul play at all. Strain's disappearance caught the attention of national and social media which led to much unfounded speculation around the circumstances of his disappearance and death. A TikToker finding Strain's bank card on the banks of the Cumberland River stoked the flame of speculation even further. From the beginning, authorities emphasized there was no evidence to support claims of foul play. The police department was flooded with tips about the potential for foul play in the case, but none that were vetted turned up any leads, Sergeant Robert Nielsen said. Videos released by businesses and police show Strain stumbling and falling around Nashville after being kicked out of the bar. The Tennessee Alcoholic Beverage Commission has launched an investigation into whether Strain was overserved alcohol on the night of his disappearance. Luke's 32 Bridge claims Strain was served just one alcoholic beverage and two waters while he was at the bar. The TABC has worked with local law enforcement to determine where else he was served alcohol that night. All licensed establishments questioned have been cooperative, a TABC spokesman said. The final report will be made public once the investigation has been closed. Drake said Strain's family has been notified of his recovery.